Uh, it's the 14th of October. Six degrees, it was five there a while back. It's got 96. Um, 77 miles to come up here last night. 65.6 miles to be the gallon. See all these people got these hybrid cars and pay a fortune and all the rest. Wasting the money. 65.6 miles a gallon. And it's now 8.47. I'm gonna go for a first walk. Luna! So, in Redmond Country Park, the only thing I'll say about car camping, um, I camped last night, I slept with my head up that way there, and Luna over here. Luna wants me beside me. So that works better for Luna. As long as it's not piles of rain hitting your wonder. But you see, um, if anybody knows anything about dehumidifiers, you see the water in the window. All the windows are pretty light except the front. The front is soaking. Use the towel for the front. But that keeps the car dry. So, when you got soaking windows with condensation, that's actually a good thing. All the water in the car goes on the window instead of the fabric. <coughs> Lena! There's only here. Terrorizing. Lena, more! Oh, I'm not your head off. I know I'm not carrying off. No, we're not setting the day off for that now. Mom, we're not carrying off now. Ah! <laughs> you don't care, but you don't care. Hey, what's wrong with you? Probably just because he's two of them. Get, get you down. Yeah, wrap your head off. Wrap your head off. I'll wrap your head off. <laughs> nice one, that. Nice puppies, though. I don't know. I heard you getting on a few gardens here. She's choking because I was holding onto the harness. I suppose we're still in a speed yard in here, like, but, uh... Can't imagine back in the day when the big house and all was here, there wouldn't have been leaves on the ground. Them boys weren't picking them leaves up right away. It's only like a small section that they've got. I thought they were going to restore the whole garden, but the green fence is over there. They've got that old Japanese knotweed in there, you see? So they must have been... I know there's a fountain in there somewhere, I wanted to see the fountain. I doubt we're not going to get seen in the fountain. Where'd the big gate go though? I hope they didn't take the big gate away. The original gate used to be one of them trees over there. I don't know. So we're going um, to the Bogdan show today. Red Brown House. We're going to the show today. I'm not going to tape everything. So, I want to tape things that's new. Done all this last year. I think you would do it. I'm thinking of buying myself a Nissan Leaf car. I'll not buy it the spring. The idea just came into my head. Uh, I don't know what woman is, but everybody's buying hybrids. The brother has got a hybrid, the sister's got a hybrid. Uh, one of my friends got a hybrid. I was just two years old. Sure, £600. And um, what I found when I bought my car, my old car was, uh, my old Picasso was £200 insurance. And then as soon as I got the new car, I went up to 300. That's not because I'm a reckless driver, it's the value of the car. So when you buy these hybrids and they're valuable, it just costs more for insurance. So her insurance is 600 pounds. Uh, the same goes too, if, uh, you know these people, Grand Design, they build these houses and if you fart on them, it keeps them warm for a year, they're so well insulated. And they always say, no more bills, no more bills now, we don't have to pay for it. But the house is that expensive. The home insurance will be a fortune. The rates, because of the value of the house, the rates will be a fortune. And I would say if you add it up, the extra money it costs in rates and the extra money it costs with home insurance costs more than what it would do if they burnt oil and didn't invest the money in the green technology. That's the way life, life goes. So I'm thinking of buying this and leaf. And instead of having a hybrid, I have two cars. So there's the, the castle there now, 65 miles a gallon, come up to Belfast on a straight run. It's not so good sitting in traffic jams. I don't do traffic jams. If I'm going somewhere as a traffic jam, I'll change my mind and go somewhere else. Don't do traffic jams. But if I had an electric car, I could join a, a traffic jam and just sit on it and listen to the music and the video. You know, I'll be retiring, like, you know, you need, you need that entertainment to pass the day. So you could let me go and uh, I do it. We'll go this way today, Luna. You could let me go out of your way to join a traffic jam. Join the rush out of traffic jam. Listen to the music. 
and just pass a couple hours. You know, you've nothing else to do. I'm thinking long term here. And then, uh, you, you, know, you don't get stressed in a traffic jam if you're not in a rush to go anywhere. But the thing that stresses me out in a traffic jam is losing fuel. I'm sitting there, not getting no miles per gallon. But if I had an electric car, it wouldn't bother me. I could sit there and listen to the radio. And, uh, so look at them in this and these. 6,000 to 10,000 pounds. Uh, all I need to do, all I need in this and these to do is drive 40 miles. The majority of my trips is less than 20, or really less than 30. 90, 90 to 95 of my journeys is less than uh, 30 miles distance. I was even cutting the miles in a year. I, I do about 10,000 a year. Just going to work, that's five and a half thousand up and down to work. Let the car can do that, no problem. I can charge the car at my house. I've got off peak electric at night time. But uh, the reason why the, the Nissan Leaf is so cheap, the first car out, the batteries are bad on them. The new cars now, the batteries on them have got heaters in them. And I, now I'm used to using lithium batteries in the car from the air fryer and stuff. I mean, you do while camping, you learn about lithium batteries and how they work. And I can't charge that lithium battery of mine. Like it's below two degrees or something like that. I'll stay on the side of it. But even, even if it was two degrees, you might charge it. It doesn't want to be charged. It's nice to be comfortable. It's when you, you get up early in the morning or your bed like it's freezing. You don't want to get up. And lithium battery is the same. But uh, the new cars now have wee heating cells in them. Now you may think by running heaters off your battery, your battery won't last as long. But batteries don't give off the same energy when they're cold. So by giving off a bit of heat in these heating cells, it heats the battery up. I added that years ago in the caravan actually. Um, I was down in Castle Rock and I had the yellow cylinders. Don't know what temperature a yellow gas cylinder freezes at. But they, it doesn't have to be that cold really, you know. And uh, the gas cylinder Got up in the morning, making a cup of tea. No gas. The rain, the rain barely lit, barely lit. The tiniest of wee flames. So what I done was I put a, a half a kettle of water on. And the flame was that small. I'm not lying. It took over half an hour to get that kettle warm. And I put that kettle of water into the water bottle. I opened up the gas locker and I set the water bottle on top of the cylinder of gas to heat the gas up inside the cylinder. And once I heated the gas up inside the cylinder, then more gas evaporated. And then I had a bigger gas flow and I was able to get my breakfast. So it's the same idea with lithium batteries. If you use a wee bit of energy from lithium battery, it gets the whole battery working. And you get the whole battery working, it's nice and happy do it easily. So these are uh, Nissan Leafs, they don't have this technology. They were the first ones out and you, if people have them as their only car they're going to charge them in the winter and so the battery will deteriorate quicker. But this won't be my only car. Now I don't want to buy it now going to the winter because I said the bat it's the winter sewing batteries. So if I bought it now I wouldn't be using it much. Do I charge up in the freezing car? And this and will tell you the state of the battery. My all powers does the same. So it tells you how many cycles you've done. The all powers does 500 cycles and you have 80% capacity. Look at that. So this and will do the same. So whenever you get in, you have a rough idea of the capacity of that battery. You don't need to take anybody's word for it. The car will tell you itself. And from that capacity, you can work out how many miles as possible and how much life's left in the battery. So if you've got one at 40%, that's ah, done. Something at 70% capacity, that'll do me. So, as the only car, probably not. So I'm gonna keep an eye for this and leaf now. You get them cheap in England, but the problem with England, you can't drive one across, can you? Like, if it's only got 60 mile range, And then if I had the wee and leaf, I'd maybe take the front seat out, leave the back seats in. And then if the option, I'd take a couple of passengers. 
and then uh, I'll, I'll put another one better on it so I can do chips on it so for day trips where's my lunar gone now? hello Bob, you got your knee ball? hi there hello all right, Lena. I'm very glad I've played a heavy pep, huh? I know how he feels I've got my finger now. So when I get one, uh, I, I get lots of these ideas. But I do all the summers in my head. And if it adds up, I use it. If it doesn't add up, I don't. My caravan. I hardly used the caravan this year. Price of diesel and all the rest. Uh, I should have been in the caravan this weekend. It's cold, five degrees at night. But um, the clutch is dodging in the car. So I'm getting a new clutch for it next week. The clutch is okay in the car itself. It's dodgy when I'm torn. I slipped a couple of bits the last time. Didn't fancy going with Lenshi and Pass. Like, so close to getting it fixed. So I'll get that fixed next week. 1,400. 40 pounds for clutch and um, let the car doesn't have a clutch um by 50 pounds now they changed the gearbox oil the brother he left his car and they get the gearbox oil done and air filters 200 pounds it cost them you don't have that in an electric car before uh, my old castle a headlight bulb was a pound the new castle a cheap one's five pound my old car now, i'm not going by prices from five years ago I'm going from the same day when I first bought my car. Uh, a 65 pound tyre, which was double A rated for my old Picasso, became 110 pound for the new Picasso because it's got alloy wheels. And it's just everything's there. Uh, exhaust pipe. My car still got the original exhaust pipes, eight years old. When that gets the first hole in it, I have to change the whole entire thing. If you don't have the original, you just change the one third, but that change that feels. That's going to be an oil bag ball that's going to come. You don't have an exhaust pipe in electric car. So you can see where I'm coming from here now. I changed my own disc and pads in the car. They were chatting 500 pounds to pay somebody else to do it for you. I think it still cost me nearly 100 pounds to do it myself to buy the parts. Uh, the discs in an electric car do over 100,000, other pads do over 100,000 miles. You never had to change the disc. The only time you change the disc in an electric car is when you don't use it and they rust up. Which is why I don't want to buy one now, no one to ten. So, a price to insurance. When you have two cars, you only have your no claims bonus for one of them. So, if the car I have now, was £200 last year insurance. It's up to 300 this year. That's because now this, everybody has to be charged the same now. You can't do new deals for people. So everybody's insurance is up now because of that. That's with full no claims bonus. To insure the electric car, the plane ticket off at the airport, Belfast City Airport. To insure the new car with no, no claims bonus on it, it's £500. So both of them cars, at the minute it's 800 pounds but then next year i'll have a, a no claims bonus on the missing leaf and that'll bring the insurance down i can reduce the mileage on the picasso take it down from 10,000 a year put it to 5,000 a year and that'll bring the insurance down so uh, you know the girl is paying 600 pounds for no claims bonus for her new hybrid my insurance would be about £700 for two cars. Uh, my car tax is £20. Car tax in this and leaf is zero. So if you take the savings with car tax and all the rest, if I went out and bought a hybrid now, you'd have to pay tax on it. Maybe I shouldn't put this video out till I buy this thing, because everybody jumps on the same idea and the price of this and leaf goes up. Now the price did go up over COVID. Price everything went up over COVID. So I'm waiting for it to settle down. So I'm going to keep my eye now in Gumtree. As I say, there's a couple now in Northern Ireland. There's one, six and a half thousand, 80 something thousand miles on it. 
But it doesn't matter about the mouths, you want to check the battery condition. Because they, they could have been swimming mouths. But uh, the other one, that was £10,000. It had uh, about £30,000 on it. But all I needed to do has um, 40 miles. 40 miles range in the call, that's all I needed to do. So I'm going to this building show today, and then um, tomorrow I've got a National Trust free pass. I'm not sure which house I'm going in yet. I might go on to, I think, Castle Ward. Castle Ward. Um, Game of Thrones and all was there, so we farm yard and all. But might be a better way, so all if I was trying for luck, all I say is and then you've got the uh, Mount Stewart at Newton Arge, not far from Mount Stewart here. And then you've got the Argry. But if I went to the Argry, I'd go home then through Cookstown direction and on. The days are getting shorter, I don't fancy doing all that in the dark. So see how the days go. See, see where I end up camping tonight. And then I'll top Monday off as a holiday. Price of diesel now, I'm up this way. I don't want to go rushing home. So then uh, Monday, I can cruise home and stop off places. I tell you what, but the crowd we view it there now. Sun's shining now. 10 degrees today. But it's supposed to be a dry 10 degrees. Right here last night, it was raining down my way. It wasn't really raining, we should be chuckle. Coming up the road was wet, but it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't actually raining. It coming up, but the road, the, the dual carriageway was very wet, and the spray coming off it. But it's like good with Glenshaw Pass. The roads and all were dry then. But the Belfast dry. The leaves were all crisp. She, of course, was going after Chinese scary wildlife, and I could hear the wildlife running through the trees and the crisp leaves. No, he wouldn't hear it. So I could hear the noises all around me in the trees. Right. Well, I had to cancel that walk last night and bring it back into the car. That was at like half twelve, like. I hear why late. You can't have her guy vanting after wildlife at that time. Because there's not usually any problems with her wildlife. So it must be we animals was out at night time. She was picking up. Nah, so I could hear the noises in the leaves. If you're if she, if she into horror movies and all, that's what it was like last night, you know. All the noises and, and the trees. Normally you wouldn't hear it. It's just because the leaves are so crisp. So I don't think we're taping no more now, Lena. Woody Redburn now and head down to the show later. She needs a proper walk now. There's not going to be a wee quick short poo walk, there's a proper walk. And then I get her fed and then she'll sleep down while I'm at the show. That's the idea. Let me ask these people up here. Hold on, back a minute. Let me ask these people the fighting this. I'm up here at the men's shed now in uh, Hollywood. I always wanted to know where the fountain was. Uh, your man Bill let me in here. And there's the original gates. I remember the gates. And uh, there was a big tree entangled in it. They have the tree taken away now. And I remember the, coming through here in the gates. They found the path underneath. This is the original footpath. So the path wasn't there like. It was all covered over. I didn't know there was a path here when I came years ago. I just came trumping through all the crap like. And you seen the gates in the middle of the trees. And there's the fountain. So I never knew there was a fountain here. There's a wee fountain there. Now there's all the bits and pieces. So people have vandalised the fountain over the years. They're going to try and piece as much as they can together. Or try and work out what it was like. But uh, they might know this part. All them bits were found inside the pond. But um, the last time, the last couple of times I was here, there's a wee set of steps behind the old people's home. And the path goes up. So that would link onto here. And the steps, is, the steps is as wide as this path here, you see. But you can't work out where it goes. So if they clear the rest of that there out now, the, the green fences are between it, that'll link on. So that's where the original house used to be there. Uh, I can't mind the man's name in then shit. I had to look at the original video. It said there's a pump and all in here. Some kind of pump. I don't know. But maybe I had a fountain in it, I don't know. But they're going to try and restore it, aren't they? But this is brilliant here, like, I always wanted to know where that fountain was. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting to see a fountain, 
The man told me the fountain was there, it was intact. So I was expecting to see the stone fountain. I wasn't expecting to see the bus like that. But the main uh, part of it's there, like. And once, but once you go by that there now, you can map up all the rest of stuff. So you look at it now, where that stone wall is over, that's where the barns now used to be. The big house, it's making more sense now. I can never understand how it could be behind the house when it's on a hill. And there is a hill here. There is a hill here. And the photographs doesn't look so hilly. And saying so you go up there and we let me back path as we steps goes on up. These small steps, which is part of this garden as well. Very interesting to see this here. So I'm going to try and find the original video now. The man left the comment on uh phone visit him. How are you doing? Hey. It's nice seeing that wee fountain there. I've been looking for that for the last couple of years. Like, oh, that's nice. I see that you it. finally find uh, it. I've yeah. been looking all around the place. Where was this fountain? Where was this fountain? Like, and I'm not sure there is not that fountain. So there's our fountain there now. Um, the wee steps are just over here. I like a wee bit of history, so I do. You can't go far wrong with a wee bit of history. But the thing is, you've been walking these places for years and walk past through about stuff. You don't realise it's here. I only found these steps here a couple of years ago. I haven't been coming here 10 years or more. I don't come every week, a couple of times a year. And uh, for one or two years ago, I noticed these steps. Where are they now? They're lost. They're lost. And the steps look narrow, but they're not narrow. They're wide steps. Hey, I might have passed them. Can't be much further than this. Ah, they'd have passed them. Not this far. That's what I mean. That's how hard it is to see stuff. The steps are there somewhere. Shouldn't be that hard to see now. See this tree's been cut down here. Unbelievable out there. Where the steps? There's the, the house was on there, like. There has to be steps here, like. I've got to look back at my old video now. See the steps were. Over here. See, you wouldn't see steps there now, would you? There's steps and a gate in there. See how quick it gets covered again. So there's the steps there, boy. Huh? There's the steps. See how quick things get covered. Nature checked over. So them steps, there's, them steps is wide there, like. You think they're only be narrow things, but why steps? These steps are coming on up here. And uh, there's a gate here somewhere where the gate go now. And, uh, so them cutting down these trees since the last time I was here, it doesn't help. Uh, just grab brambles with my hand. Oh my fall. See, I'm a bit too old to find archaeology, you know. That's a gate there. That was an actual gate. So it was a double gate, double steps. And there's a the fountain over there now. So when they link that up, the fountain's just the other side, then brambles. So you can see now it makes sense. Well, we burn all we done there. So we better scraping back to do yet. But then them steps come the whole way up. But it seems funny how they're uncovering a path over there and they're burying it here. So you ever cut these trees down? Doesn't know about these steps are out. I was walking the steps the last time. I don't walk them now, I tell you. I don't have anything to uncover, it keeps the frost away from them and protects them. Once you expose them, all the weather's going to start eroding them again. They're all the steps there now. One giant leap for man. Whatever it is. One small step for man. 
damn leap of iron can. Them steps is wide, like. Ah, and the head on over there. I want to get this video. I'm interested in finding out where your man left the comment. The boy who did mention it. That many videos in Red Brown Country Park with us. I'll just click them on at a time and check the comments out. This car park down, man. This this was uh, where all the horses and all would have came up, and the stable blocks and all over there behind it. <laughs>